What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm going to cut right to the chase. As you guys see, we are installing a new Valtronic exhaust on the E92 M3. But before we do that, let's get one last cold start on a stock M3 exhaust. too bad but it's pretty bad let's be honest it's pretty bad all right let me show you guys the new Valtronic exhaust so here is the new exhaust um i did not go with the x pipe mid pipe just because i will be tracking <clears throat> excuse me just because i will be tracking this car i don't want to go with all of that sound because i won't pass a lot of the sound decibel requirements for a lot of racetracks near me so that's why i wanted this system and it is valved so it's supposed to sound like once these are closed it's supposed to sound like stock, and when they're open, it's obviously louder. Here are the tips. It says Valtronic very nicely. I'll give you guys a size comparison. Look at the size comparison of that. It's so much nicer. You could fit one of these in there, and it almost passes the fist test. Pretty close. <laughs> yeah, that is it, and we're going to get to installing this exhaust. And hopefully it sounds really good, which I think it will. So the first thing we have to do is, since this is a valved exhaust, um, we have to have some power going to this module box thing. So I plugged it into the cigarette lighter all the way up there, ran this back, and now this plugs into the module box. Then we get that plugged in, and then we'll go from there. Once that's plugged in, plug in your little antenna right here that is applied in the box if you get this exhaust. It's right here. Just plug it on into, the, into that thing, and then well, next step, we'll go from there. So the exhaust comes with this vacuum line, and pretty much this is a vacuum box for the valves. So it comes with this, um, this three, I don't even know you want to call that, but it comes with this. You plug it into one side of here, um, then another side, you're going to cut this, and the side is going to plug in to right there, then um, cut another piece and another piece to make it splice off each way, and each way goes into the actual valve itself, which is right here. And then that should control the valves, which you guys can see. If you guys can see that, they're in there. You guys will get a better shot about that. Get a better shot of that later. But that's pretty much how you control the valves. So right now, I'm going to spend some time hooking this up to this. And then um, they said in their... Uh, directions there's a little thing I believe it's right here it's somewhere in here I gotta find it that you could feed the uh, <clears throat> feed the vacuum line down through here and then uh, you should be good and you should be able to connect to the exhaust down there so I'm gonna try to find that right now so I can't seem to figure out where to route this they say route it over here through a grommet I'm not sure which one precision dynamics Spencer Brooks video he routed it down there I had no idea how he got it down there there seems to be no hole, I'm not really too sure. So I contacted uh, Valtronic and I'm waiting on a response, but while I wait on a response, I'm gonna start taking off this old exhaust down here, as you guys can see, ugly old exhaust, and start mounting up the new stuff. All right, so under the car now, you gotta take these two front bolts off, these are 13s, then you go over here, up here, and up there are the 18s, and then you have to go to the front ones, which I'll show you, show you in one second. So let's get these and these off first. 13, 18 millimeters. So as you guys can see, that's hanging down just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, hanging down a little bit. Got those two um, off. Now we have to get, there's two up in here. Maybe I can make the exposure more. So you guys can see that. No, that's the opposite way, sorry. Yeah, there you go. So you can see those two right there, one over there. Yeah, one over there, one over there. Same on the other side. Then there's two eight millimeters way up in there. And then this whole thing should come down. I'm by myself, so hopefully I don't kill myself with my stock exhaust. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys when this is when this exhaust is off. Alright. That's why I recommend two people for this job. 
All right, stock exhaust is out. It's actually super easy. Like, just like the thing that's the hardest thing is taking it down by yourself, not hitting yourself with it, which I kind of didn't do that, but I did it. Yeah, that's besides the point. There it is. But do we start it up with just the mid pipe? Do we start it up with just the mid pipe? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Okay, so if you guys are installing this, um, it is this side to do it. It's actually a lot easier than um, I made it seem. Some people's amp is a lot smaller, like my friend Felipe, who actually helped me with this. Shout out to you, shout out to General Performance. Those are my boys. There is their their information, Instagram right there. Hit them up for anything you need. But um, on other M3s or the 335s, whatever, this is smaller. I have the Logic 7, so this is like I guess the best one that to that's what people tell me. But it's a really good one, I guess, and it's bigger, so it covered this little grommet that was right here. This little guy. Um, so just if, if that's your case, just remove your um, amp or stereo thing, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really into stereo stuff, so whatever this thing is, your amp. Um, Take the four little eight mils out, and then you can feed this down. Super easy. Now we have it fed down there. Now we can reinstall this exhaust, which I transferred everything over. These little guys, um, those, that one, and then these two. So we're gonna reinstall it on the car, hook up the valves, hopefully everything works. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so whole exhaust is on. Look how beautiful that looks. It's on, so now we gotta do the valves, which I already showed. Got down there, uh, I have to cut this, put this on to one side, make it that way, that way, and it connects to the valves, which I showed you earlier in the video. I wonder if you can see. If you look at that little, right there, that's where the vacuum line goes into, and then uh, we should see if this thing works. So, I'm pretty close, pretty, really close. Let's get this thing all cut up. Connect to the valve, see if the valves work, and then turn it on and see if it works. All right, just turn the car on. It's really quiet, but let me see. Put oh, things here. Let me get this exposure going, so you can see the valve in there. All right, it's closed. Got the remote. Open. Let's go. Closed. Open. We did it, boys. This is the remote. It looks like a Lamborghini startup key. It says electronic designs on it. Whew. So I'm going to get the exhaust tips on and show you that because they're massive. And then I'm going to put all these tools away and then head out to somewhere and go get some sound clips this thing because I'm not going to leave you guys with no sound clips. So, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's get this. If I rev it right now, my neighbor will get mad at me. We don't want a neighbor to get mad at us because we just moved like a year ago. So, yeah. All right, let me get the tips on, show you guys the tips. Let's get out of here. Look how massive these tips are. It's like, jeez. These are crazy. They're not super even right now. This side's a little bit down. Um, I'm just too happy. I'll adjust that later in the future, but um, yeah, let's get all this cleaned up. Change, go get a Gatorade or something. See how this thing sounds, it's gonna be sick. All right, just got out of the shower. Now we're gonna hop in the M3. Take it for a spin. Look how gnarly those tips look. It's kind of dark. I'll get better angles when we go somewhere to rev it up, but oh, it looks so good. Now with the coilovers on, the exhaust. Now we just need like diffuser, side skirts, wing. Oh wait, did I say wing? Yeah, no I didn't. Yeah, I did. Um, front lip, GT4 front lip. A bunch of stuff going on in this car. And a wrap soon. I think I've chosen my color that we're gonna route the M3. It's gonna be a really, really nice M3. Really, yeah, it's gonna be sick. All right, not me rambling on, let's go take it for a drive. So this is just driving around regularly. And drive, valves closed. It almost sounds quieter than stock, which is really nice. Full gas. 
Oh, we got the little box rally around back there. We gotta fix that, but. It sounds quieter than stock. Let me get a little, obviously the car's somewhat cold still. So let's go this way and just get a little acceleration. Not much, just in drive. Yeah, it sounds just like stock. Literally identical. All right, now let's open those valves. The valves are open and drive. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She's louder for sure. Let's pop in sport. Let's go down to second gear. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, this thing sounds good. That's the V8. Let's let's go up this street right here. Let's go up this street. <laughs> this is so sick. Okay, let's go to a location and get some uh, revving clips. You guys can hear from the back what it actually sounds like. All right, so we made it to this elementary school. Actually, my old elementary school when I was a kid, right here. I lived in the same city my whole life. But some guy over there just yelled, that S-H-I-T is clean. <laughs> Appreciate it, bud. Appreciate it watching this. All right, let's get some clips. I'll put when the valves are closed and open. Obviously, you'll tell at the bottom of the screen. Let's get it. As you guys can tell, this exhaust is really nice. Dude, that is so sick. Finally, I have a exhaust on this car. It's been too long, but that's what this M3 is supposed to sound like. An S65 V8 with that V8 sound. And dude, look at the girth of these tips, dude. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That is so sick. God, you guys, I'm so happy with this exhaust. Super stoked. And for those of you that are gonna ask me, is this, when the valves are closed, is it like stock? As you heard, I think it's actually quieter than stock, which makes me really happy, because I'm going to Laguna Seca on Friday, which that video will be after this video, so be on the lookout for that video, it's gonna be sick. Um, but it's 92 decibel day, and I think it's stock M3, my friend says around mid 80s to high 80s, decibel wise for sound. So I think right now we're probably at like mid 80s on uh, valves closed. So I won't get kicked off the truck, and then when I leave, open the valves, and we'll be set to go just like being loud. So I'm super hyped about that. So just a quick recap of what we've done to the car so far, um, that we've had it for a little over a month. We got wheels, coilovers, exhaust. That's what we've done. The performance and performance lip already was on the car. So we've done three big things, but I have a lot of stuff coming from this car because it's not where I want it. I want it to literally look like a street race car. Like that is my goal for this thing is to literally look like a streetable race car. Like it's gonna be sick. You guys, stay tuned to the channel. It's gonna be tight. We're just getting started here on Life Ricky. Subscribe if you haven't already. It may, it mean the words to me. Subscribe. Also, we have decals. I'll show you guys the decal right now. This is our channel decal. If you want one, let me know. I have more information on the in the description below. Life Ricky decals. That's all this video is about. It's to be about the exhaust. Along with that being in the description, a uh, link will be to the Valtronic website for all sorts of other cars. F30, I think they do. I think they do 335s. Uh, Porsches, Lamborghinis, they do everything. So I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. Whew. And the downshifts are so crisp. Oh my gosh. So 
it's so good. Oh, this thing sounds sick. So sick. One last little thing here for you. Ooh, this thing sounds so good. All right, the M3 is back home. Wow, that was insane, dude. Like, I'm so happy with this, dude. Like, I can't get a smile off my face. This exhaust is so sick. I just those big tips, dude. That's what she said. <laughs> I do. But dang, it says Valtronic right on them. I couldn't be happier with this. Really couldn't be happier with this exhaust. But just like that, that'll conclude the exhaust video. That was so fun. It's a super easy install, way easier than coilovers. It was just like 10 bolts comes down, put a new one back on. The only problem I had was feeding that uh, vacuum line behind the um, amplifier. But if you have like the bigger amplifier, just take it off. It's like four, eight mils around it and then slide it down that grommet. Super simple. But just like that, this video is over. Please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Giveaway with Rush Customs at 5,000 subscribers. We're almost there. So please go down there and subscribe. Next video is going to be a track video with the M3 at Laguna Seca. So that should be sick. Stay on the lookout for that. But like always, I love you all. Peace out.